Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way, Rasmus Holland on the way to Manchester United. Not yet, but yeah, let's be serious here. My name is Ralph Dufan, a Manchester United fan just like you who clicked the video. Yeah, Manchester United have just made a beat for Rasmus Holland, this Danish wonder kid who plays for Atlanta. The beat is 35 million euros. We know that Atlanta has turned down that beat. That's why the story is out. You won't believe me, I'm an old man. For the past one hour, I've been trying to get this mic to work and it hasn't worked. And thank God it has worked and now I can meet you guys, this lovely community in which we have. So Manchester United has done this beat here for Rasmus Holland and, and um, the story has been out. We know Fabrizio Ronaldo Romano, the transfer specialist, has said Holland is a, uh, is a player which United are looking very closely. We heard all this story about Manchester United being interested in bringing an attacker, which is a must. We must bring an attacker. And guys, uh, if you haven't watched the David De Gea video I did this morning, go back and watch it because I think David De Gea was treated poorly by Manchester United. When you have legends on the club leaving, there is a way to say goodbye. We saw the way Gundogan was given was given a farewell by Manchester City. United is losing that family um, awareness which we used to have in Manchester United. And they say Alex Ferguson days. You can see uh, Fergus, yes, he was a root-led manager, uh, but uh, he always treated players who were loyal to the team, to the club, uh, in a very, in more or less a, a, a warm way. You would say Roy Keane didn't have it and most of the players. But anyway, I don't think David De Gea has been treated fairly. If you think he has been, tell me why you think so. But yeah, today we're talking about someone else and it's Rasmus Holland. Is he going to be the new Rooney? Is he going to be the new Erling Haaland in the, in the Premier League? You know, I just read some article from Manchester Evening News, the local Manchester United um, journal, who uh, they come and said, you know what, Rasmus has no choice. He will not be able to run away from the shot from uh, the comparison with Erling Haaland. So he, if he's coming to the Premier League, he has to be ready to deliver. Maybe not 50 goals, but he has to score goals. He has to create that impression for the first season. I know it's in his head. We have heard, we've heard from Fabrizio, David Onstein saying the player is interested to play in the Premier League. He's a Manchester United kind of fan. When I mean kind of fan, I mean he's, he's one of the clubs in which he, he dreamt to play for. And um, uh, United, Ten Hag, wants this attacker. The question is, I want to ask you as Manchester United fan, please tell me down below. Do you think, would you go for Rasmus Holland or to Harry Kane? Because personally, I would go for a young player who is ready to dish, who is, let me tell you the plus for Rasmus Holland. He is, uh, he doesn't have problem with injuries. Hopefully he doesn't have it if he comes to United because I can tell you guys he's a 90%. He is going to be a Manchester United player because of... Um, Atlanta won 45 million, United have gone for 35. I think we're going to close it on, 10, on 40 plus 5 million add-ons and that will be it. So I think in the coming hours, uh, he, will be, he will go on in the tour. And by the way, guys, I had to be in the tour. I didn't have a time here. If you are new on the channel, you didn't know that. I told the all subscribers, share these videos with all fans. Subscribe to the channel. We needed 10,000 just to have that sponsor to go to US. But guess what? We're in Spain and it's warm and I'm getting darker and... Yeah, and happier with the news today that Manchester United is going to, pay, to, to sign the Danish attacker. You know, Ten Hag has a history of mauling young players. Ten Hag has done a lot for Manchester United, the team, in terms of as Marcus Rashford. Just less than a year ago, most of you, I, I won't stand on the wall. One of those players, I think it's time to catch in on Rashford if PSG wants a player. So, I mean, th that is what a good manager does, right? You bring a player... You give him the confidence, give, tell the player, put him, put discipline in a team. I think if Ten Hag has the tools this season, we will, we will play, perform better than last season. I don't think we're going to win the league, but I think we are going to pressure the, attack, the, 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 the players who are going to win the league. So we know we have Mason Mount. Just in, um, um, Austin has come out already and said that they, uh, the... Uh, Mount will be a Manchester United player. Uh, you have heard here we go from Fabrizio Romano, from Mason Mount. And now, in less than 48 hours, we are hearing about United has made the first beat already for the Atlanta attacker. And the reason why I think so, because Atlanta is trying to buy a player, uh, in, uh, a Malian international to Atlanta, someone who is going to replace Holland. So I think it's just about time which Manchester United are going to uh, have this player in the team. So, talking about the, uh, the transfer window, I keep hearing the question that, Rob, what is your best transfer window in our 
uh, in our Facebook group. Guys, join our Facebook group. I mean, you can check it anywhere. Yeah, just the United underscore way um, dot com. Uh, the underscore Man United way. You can search that on our uh, Facebook. We have some interesting content there. But that's where we do have breaking news. We come faster than the channel because, you know, I'm on holidays. But if you want to get some United vibes, daily questions, get interaction to other fans, jump there on our Facebook page. And yeah, so uh, I keep telling you guys that the thing is that Manchester United, we, uh, we are very lucky to have such a manager who has a, a strategy, who knows what he expects from players and he knows how to deliver. It is quite important for a team with low confidence like Manchester United, you have Eric Tenag. Is Eric Tenag the disciple? Is Eric Tenag the messiah? He is kind of that uh, uh, player. Is he uh, Alex Ferguson? Only time will tell. But I think Eric Tenag has brought a lot of positive vibes in United. He has brought a discipline and a way of play. You remember the days of Ole, of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, where it was all about buying million dollar players to change the team, where you had ex-players having influence for the team. I think Ten Hag has held the team very tight, showed his character, and the players have, have, have got in board with him because they know he is the boss of the team. So, guys, tell me what you think about the attacker, um, uh, Rasmus Haaland. Is he, is he the right type of player United need to go for? What is his qualities? Well, I can tell you what I know from the player is, you know what? He's a player which is physically, physical, very quick for someone of his age. He came through the, the lights of uh, Stu's Grams, bought by Atlanta for a million, uh, 1.7 million, if I, just a year ago. Uh, from, he was bought by Stu's Grams for 1.7 million. Atlanta bought him for 17 million. Five years contract, what, four plus one. Then United has come and picked it up for after a first brilliant season for, uh, for the, uh, the Italian league. Uh, United had gone in would it be to bring uh, the attacker and the ultra forward. I think it will be a positive signing. I think it's a player who has something to prove. And if I don't know if you guys know about the, the Scandinavian attackers. For some reason, they are very disciplined. They have done well in the Premier League. We know of Larson. We know of, um, look at Ericsson. Ericsson, the teammate of the, of the, the, the Danish national team. We have had a lot of good players who, who play for the Danish or, the, or Scandinavian players in general who have done well in the Premier League. You can name uh, 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 a lot of them. So I think this is a good move. I can tell you, I'm not Fabrizio Romano. I'm, my name is Rob Dukan, just a fan like you, as I keep saying on my, on my intro. But you know what? I can smell that this is going to go. This is, it, we have less than, in less than 48 hours, United will, will have this signing in the bag. I can smell that we will take this player on our, on our preseason. You know what? We, if we take him, we have this, we go the next step. It could be a Nana. It could be an attack. It could be a midfielder again. I think if we go for Herland, it means uh, Marsha will have to stay. We know we cannot count on Marsha. Marsha is a 50% player. Um, uh, and but if we can get Marsha, Holland, we can try to manage the games. Remember last season, we had nobody to, 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 to play all these games. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I think United, if we have gone for Mount, if we can go for a, uh, for, uh, uh, let me say we we'll go for a goalkeeper, we we'll go for a CDM. And we can sell Magwe. I, I think we, we know that Bailly has already left. I think Manchester United, we can have a solid team. We just need competitive players, players who want to move forward. So tell me what you think, guys. I'm on holiday on my first glass of beer. No time for advertisement, but yeah, it's a good one. But I want to ask you guys, tell me guys what you think about this signing. Is it going to be a good success? Do you think this is the kind of caliber of player Manchester United needs to bring in Ultra Ford? Why are you excited about this signing? Because I can tell you it's I'm in the 90%. I'm 90% I'm sure this will play this will go through. Because from 35 to 35, just 10 million. The United, you know, we always play with all the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 million to get a good deal. And uh, I can say here we go. Because we have been hearing a lot of stories, but for United doing that beat, it shows United are serious. So guys, smash a like on the video. Get involved with the United Way. We do these videos every day. We'll try to do some live content here, but guys, we need to, we, we need to guys to get involved. But anyway, thanks again. And yeah, stay tuned. Click the like on the button. Please share with all our fans here because I would love to hear your comments and I'll reply to them personally. With that all said, guys, have a nice weekend. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll have another chat. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. It's Trump's season, so we'll always be having some breaking news on the channel.
，就慈善會。